study pilot program aims to confront increasing homelessness in Austin. It's a problem diverting a lot of public safety resources. Police data shows officers respond to calls around the Austin Resource Center for the Homeless as often as 21 times a day. And paramedics are there an average seven times a day. KXN's Kylie McGivern joins us to explain what the upcoming city program will provide that others currently do not. Kylie? Well, Shannon, the Homelessness Outreach Team Pilot Program will bring together a team of police officers, mental health professionals, and a paramedic to proactively interact with Austin's homeless population. And today, City Council approved an agreement with Capital Metro for the use of a wheelchair-accessible vehicle the program can use to take individuals to needed services. Our officers right now are out on the streets, and they're being asked to say, um, remove individuals from the doorways of businesses. The Homelessness Outreach Team Pilot Program aims to change traditional policing methods, moving beyond citations and into action that has a meaningful impact. They haven't typically gone out with a paramedic, with a social service ca caseworker, and so their approach has been, um, you know, not as comprehensive as it as it can be. Mayor Pro Tem Kathy Tovo is sponsoring efforts to bring a pilot program downtown and in West Campus. APD began exploring the idea more than a year ago, looking at similar programs in Houston and in San Antonio. I would say the city of Austin has, you know, a, is committed to ensuring the safety of its of its residents, um, both those who are sheltered and those who are who are not sheltered, and it's a, a concern for individuals in both of those populations. Tovo says early intervention could help prevent a mental health or medical crisis. The idea is to really have have this team out there interacting with building re building relationships and connecting those individuals back to existing resources, but also helping us determine where those gaps are in our resources. The most obvious, emergency shelter beds, and, Tovo said, a pressing need for more caseworkers. And the homelessness outreach team plans to hit the ground next month. And the city council also gave the go-ahead to increase spending on the Waller Creek Tunnel Project by another $7.5 million. Two years ago, a design flaw put a pause on the project when officials realized part of the design blocked a Capitol View corridor. The project will now total more than $160 million to eventually take 28 acres of downtown out of the floodplain. And today, council directed the city manager to put a plan in place for slashing the wildfire risk in Austin. We reported on the call for a wildland urban interface code, which essentially is a comprehensive code with the city and other agencies on how to go about reducing wildfire risk. And after much debate, council unanimously approved a zoning case that paves the way for the city's first standalone boys and girls club. The new facility will be located at Turner Lane and Springdale, which is in East Austin. Neighbors originally weren't too happy with the plan because of the threat of more traffic. But keep in mind, there are 10,000 low-income children within two miles of the site who will benefit. So for more information, you can check out our website, kxan.com. Back to you.